एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल करीबू फाइन आर्ट एंड आई एम प्रिया द आर्टिस्ट बिहाइंड करीबू फाइन आर्ट डॉट कॉम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू पेंट अ गोल्डियन फिंच बर्ड इन एक्रेलिक we will be using liquitex basics acrylic paints which are really good quality paints but for really cheap price so you can just play around with it and experiment with it without worrying about it without worrying about getting your painting wrong and wasting paints so these four brushes will be using these are the three brushes which i have used for the bird itself so these two are, this one is triple zero this one is four times zero round brush one is winsor and newton and another one is princeton brush both of them are round brushes very very fine brushes for fine details and this one is a zero brush it's again a round brush and it's not a very good quality one but it works out well for me it's experimenting with it with a lot of brushes and then you end up getting the perfect match for yourself uh this one is a filbert brush uh, papillon number no. 6 by the artist club filbert brush we have discussed all of these brushes actually in the second video on my channel which is the eagle nebula and eagle painting tutorial so all of these material we have used to put together a goldian finch uh, which is an australian bird it's part 1 of a four part bird series we are going to see and we are going to paint four different australian birds uh, in these four painting tutorials uh, for this painting i have used a very special technique which is little bit different than what i usually do i usually block in just the base colors and then try to build over layers on it in this uh, method what we we are going to do is we are going to mix three basic paints we are going to use the colors we are going to use and we are going to form a new color darker tone of the color and we are going to just tint the paper we are going to uh, do a sketch using a brush and paint like we do with graphite pencils and after we build that uh, sketch basic sketch with the paints acrylic paints we are going to put on layers on that later so this technique i have learned from one of the artists her name is uh, catherine castle cat castle she is an australian based artist and i'm going to put a link to her video uh, where you can learn the technique in detail she is a beautiful artist she does a very fine detailed work and she is like a uh, very known artist in australia she does a majority of her paintings are wildlife birds and animals so please check it out um, it's a very good reference point to start with for detailed birds and animal uh, paintings today i'm starting off with the basic sketch of the bird goldian finch and after that i'm using the technique we discuss technique we discussed in the introduction which is uh i have mixed the basic three colors the purple color the red color and the green color i have used majorly on the bird i have mixed those three colors and i have come up with this uh, really dark mid tone brown color and i'm using a very thin double zero brush and trying to use that color to get the basic sketch and shadowed portion and i'm just drawing with that color and brush like one will draw with graphite pencils you'll get a clearer idea about this technique if you go through the catherine castles video which i discussed in the introduction this technique is very useful when you are trying to do fine details with birds or animals so you just have to pay attention to your reference photo to get the shadowed areas and get the highlight areas um 
so the contracts should be majorly defined in this kind of technique and with this technique it's we are not trying to match up to the reference photo as close as possible like we usually do but what we are trying to do is trying to match to the actual real bird how it should look because when you see a bird or an animal in reality it might it might differ from the way you see it after taking a picture so with this kind of technique you can specify the whole image the drawing and darks and lights and once all those basic sketch is blocked in and it's dry now we can start with the colors we are going to use on the Gouldian Finch. As you can see, I have used a red oxide color to block the face. And then I have used a purple color to block the area around the chest. And then I have used yellow color uh, to get the base and the whole body of the bird. Right now I am defining the color better so I am going over the red color again and blocking the dark darks and lights of the facial part and then again going over with the purple color to define the contrast better. I have already blocked the colored area with the blue paint, light sky blue, sky blue paint. Now I'm trying to define the black portions better using a thin brush and a masked black, black paint. Usually the painting technique I use, I start with the black paint but because this painting technique is a little bit different than what I usually do, uh, I have started using black in the middle of the painting once I block in the complete darks and all the colors and contrast then I'm trying to use the black color to define and sharpen the image much better, to define the darks much better. Now on the facial area, I'm going back with a white paint and a very thin 4x0 brush and trying to define the feathers much more in detail. Once this layer dries, I'll go over the feather portions with the orange high highlights. You have to pay very close attention to the direction of uh, the feathers where they are going. You have to pay detailed attention to the reference photo when doing eyes, beak and the claws of any bird painting. Because the claws, um, the dimension and the accurate drawing of the claws will add value to your painting. Because the positioning of claw will actually define the balance of a bird. If the claws are not positioned properly, the bird balance won't look natural. So that is a very major aspect of a bird painting or drawing. For the claws as well, you have to make sure, more than the colors, you have to make sure the lights, highlights and the shadowed areas are defined very well so that it looks like a real claw. 
for the wooden branch portion again i haven't paid much attention to the exact colors i'm using i have used just three colors throughout that portion it's a white black burnt sienna and actually the fourth color i have used is little bit of green so even with the branch area you have to make sure that more than your colors your contrast shadowed areas highlights are such that it looks like a wooden branch it shouldn't look like a plastic branch or it shouldn't look like a cartoon structure it should look like actual wooden branch and for that again you have to make sure your contrast is perfect your dark areas are defined properly some of the areas look like it's shadowed area and the highlights have to be correctly positioned this is just first part of the four part painting series painting tutorial series will be having uh, and all of those uh, four parts will be covering different australian birds and it will be very interesting uh, tutorials so we have come to almost end of this uh, painting and please share uh, the video uh, with the people who like uh, these kind of tutorials and please comment on it and please subscribe it's com it's absolutely for free and thank you so much for taking time out and watching this video see you again on next thursday